following program is brought to you in living color. Y'all ready for this? Here we come. Good morning. Good morning. Little bit of heaven night, four point seven candy key. Really. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Run and Jimmy in the Morning. It's Monday morning. April 30th, last day of the month. It's already the last day. It is Monday. It is Roy and Jimmy in the morning with Donna Main right here on chaoticradio.com. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning, everyone. Hope you all had a great and fun weekend, which went by way too quick again. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all of a sudden we're here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we got to look forward to it. Exactly. See? See? Look at that. We're going to get you guys going. We're going to get you to work. We're going to make you laugh in the morning, get you shake off those Monday blues, right? Right. Right. Shake them off like a wet dog in the rain. Yes. Yes. I mean, all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) Where that came from. That's That's a good analogy, buddy. (laughs) That should be our tagline. It should be. We shake you off like a wet dog in the rain. Shaking you off like a wet dog. Roy and Jimmy in the morning. I like that. I think it sounds good. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> well, the place looks nice. It's been a few days since we've been here. Yeah, kind of, you know, it's the same. It looks uh, radio-ish. <laughs> I got red things on the walls, uh, speakers and stuff. Speakers, cameras. Cameras, yeah. You catch us on YouTube or on one of the, three of these all over the place if you want to get the visual. Which could be scary. We should just point them all to Donna. Right. <laughs> there no, there's no bunny slippers and robes, even though we probably should have that yeah. morning show. I kind of right. got, well, I got, I got my grandpa's pajamas on. In saying that, <laughs> you're the behind got, the desk. I got sweatpants on. Oh, you are! You're kicking it, huh? I got I got the cool sweatpants on today, and that's what my grandpa is. He got older, called you know, he got his sweatpants on, but he's like, nah, it's just pajamas. It's just pajamas. I call yeah. mine house pants. The same thing. Yeah, house pants. It sounds better that way. Like house civilized. Pants? House pants. I've yes. heard lounge pants. I've also. heard I've heard lounge pants. Right? That's getting a little too right. fancy, right? Yeah, I think this is house pants. House pants. Sweats with pockets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, get yourself buckled in. Get your butts to work. We are Roy and Jimmy. We're starting this off. It's Roy and Jimmy in the morning with Donna Main. Give us a call. Oh, that's uh, that's still our, our theme song. Yeah, we just want to make sure you knew we were here. That's the pro shit. You're... That is some pro shit right there. People, yeah. people pay money for that right now. Where? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> We're if you find out where, let us know. Give us a call, 909-360-8330. We're there. That's it. It's Roy and Jimmy in the morning. It's radio.com. Happy Monday morning to you guys. You were killing it. Yeah, man. You guys drum missed. solo <laughs> drum afflictions. Solo, drum solo <laughs> on my breastuses. <laughs> chest solo. Oh, chest solo. A I chest mean, solo. We'll call it that. That's like Han Solo's brother. Oh. <laughs> well, he's off and running, isn't he? <laughs> man, you don't get this anywhere. No. you. That, that's where you have to get a paid subscription to this kind of humor. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to, you can Venmo us at... <laughs> And <laughs> anything. We'll find it. <laughs> what was everyone's weekend like? Hmm. Yeah, it was that good. Oh, wow. It was Actually, we had a, had a family. Everyone was just killing it. Had a family birthday <laughs> dinner for Don and her brother on Saturday. Very nice. That was nice. good. Um, you know, got a little gifts. She was, she was excited because Thomas sent her a brand spanking new bowling bag. Oh, boy. She's oh. all set. 
Oh, oh it's beautiful. That's oh, right. We had birthday oh, dinner. We went to the Cheesecake Factory. Yes. That's we, when right. did we do that? Friday night? <laughs> Thursday night? Thursday night. Thursday night. That That's was right. fun. That was fun. We had a good time with uh, you and the lovely Miss Ariana. Yes, the Cheesecake Factory over here at Victoria Gardens. I haven't been there forever. It looks like it is out of Vegas. I think that's what you said, right? Yeah, it kind of looks like... I did not know that the origins of Cheesecake Factory was ancient Rome. Yeah, it's kind of art art deco. Yeah, it is is gaudy as all hell. Perfect. Uh, Perfect for cheesecake. I mean, when I think of Roman Empire... You think of cheesecake. Gladiators. Chariots. (laughs) Big slice of cheesecake. That's That's what comes to mind. So now, how did we go all night and not have a piece of cheesecake? Well, my it's thing, that factory. My thing was I was full as hell. I had just finished eating dinner when Roy hit us up and said, "Hey, it's Don's birthday. Could you guys come for dinner?" Uh, it's like, well, yeah, but oh, that was rough. And Jimmy's like, "We just ate." I'm like, "Oh, that's all right. I've seen you eat. You'd be all right." Went to this uh, place called Rosa Maria's in Fontana. And great Mexican food. I've never been there, but I had their garbage burrito. Oh, yeah. oh. oh this king size stuffed tortilla with everything. So when they say garbage, it's all that stuff like you see people leave on their plate. So a little bit of guacamole right. over here, a little bit of beans over there, a little bit of rice over yeah. here. It's like they put all that in a tortilla and wrapped it up. Right. Oh. Well, now, shouldn't it be cheaper since they're using people's leftovers? Yeah. I would hope so. I'd look for an investigation, not yeah. to shut them down, but to you know get my fair due right. on that. Yeah. Got a little so I was already fat guy, a skinny guy, fat, a firm bowling ball. I had the bowling bag right here. <laughs> well, it was funny. We took a yeah. picture of us all toasting. Yeah. And in the background, you can see Jimmy with his <laughs> sweater unzipped. He's I'm, like, <laughs> it was a warm evening, but I put the sweatshirt on just to hide the, the bulbousness of that bowling ball belly I had going on. Yeah. Oh, my God. It was full. Yeah. yeah. I still enjoyed some eating with you guys, though. I ate a uh, split of salad and I ate Kylie shrimp. Yes. And half a breadstick. And she couldn't eat them. She couldn't eat them because of the tooth thing, but yeah. you can't let shrimp go to waste no matter no. how full you are. No, no. shrimp no. is shrimp. It's a delicacy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Kylie's t- tooth update, she's doing better. Is she doing better? Yeah. Oh, that's good because, you know, it was, it was oh, those are rough. Yeah. Those are rough. In fact, uh, Chaotic Radio time is 716. We're going to do a little weather right now. Yeah. Get everybody all set through here. Let me get that, that. Let me get that weather music all set. Oh, isn't that nice? Uh, uh, here's your weather with Donna May. Oh, good morning, everybody. It is going to be mm, kind of a cloudy day today, Rancho Cucamonga. It is 55 degrees right now with a high of 68. And, you know, tomorrow is the first day of May, so I guess April showers might bring some May showers and some allergies, probably. They've got like, <laughs> they've got about 12, what? 18 hours to get those April showers in, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, and in my favorite place that I still need to visit, Cut and Shoot, Texas, it is currently 66 degrees and fair, and the high today will be 81, actually. Hmm, sounds pretty nice. What what is fair? Fair Fair weather. It's it's when you hit a ball and it stays inside the... The foul the green, ball line. And yeah. the greenway and the yeah. way there, yeah. 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 I mean, fair ball, we have a fair weathered friend. Those are just so, right. so many different definitions right, right there. So, Well, with fair, it, the little icon shows a little bit of sun peeking out from behind the cloud. So I think that's... Fair enough. It's fair. Fair yeah, enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's, it's not, fair enough. It's not fantastic, but... That's a, that's a fair analogy. Yeah. Got, right? <laughs> cut and shoot Texas. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> and except and, it's cut and shoot. They say, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. And then we go to Waterbury, Connecticut. Yay. Yay. Okay, Jimmy, it really sucks there today. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) It is currently 45 degrees and rain showers. Oh, well, there you go. That tells me that some humidity going to go on there, too. Yeah. The high will only be 52 today. 52. Yeah. So I'll take this area. Thank you. (laughs) Um, Sedona, Arizona. Lisa. It is 57 degrees at this moment and sunny. High of 72 today. Well, there you go. All That's right. a, no wonder. Look. No wonder Lisa's always so happy. She's got great weather. Yeah, it sounds gorgeous there. She's got great weather and she's got Ron. Ron keeping her happy. Ron and weather. 
That's all you need. Ron and with us. See here we have first big shout out to everybody who watched our little video at the beginning here. Let me get a let me get those people up here. We of course we got our, our buddy Evan, Nikki. Yeah. Uh, Drew Yerkish, Deirdre. Richard's our, our good friend, Deirdre. Yay! I haven't seen her in a while. So good morning, everybody. In the chat room here, we have uh, Evan. His weekend was, let's see, he hung up with the old man Saturday at the track. That was very really cool. Mm-hmm. Andrew, most of the weekend, saw the new Avengers movie. Yes, I did that uh, yesterday morning. Hmm. I saw that. That was a great, great movie. So, uh, Big, yeah. Biggest opening ever? Oh, something? I'm sure. I'm sure. Now, the thing, the thing yeah. is with the Avengers is... I didn't get into all the intricacies that they're all connected to. I saw Iron Man when it came out because I just like those kind of movies. Mm-hmm. Saw Guardians of the Galaxy, but I didn't go out to see them because of the other. Right. <clears throat> but then Ariana got into all that mm. recently and then did a marathon, got everybody in order, Captain America, Thor, all this. And so I got the connections. Yeah. And so now watching it actually enhances it more because standalone, I think they're good movies yeah, by themselves if you know nothing. But now once you know a little bit here and there and how they connect, pretty right. exciting. So yeah, that was like two and a half hour movie yesterday right. too. It's two and a half hours, but it was, it didn't hurt watching yeah. this one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I heard it's fabulous. Mm-hmm. Little tidbit they said this morning. There are actually uh, two Marvel movies in the top five now because Black Panther is still, still number five. Right. Yeah. And now, yeah. yeah top the ten. Avengers, number one. <clears throat> top ten, ten, ten. Wow. <laughs> ten is traffic. <laughs> top ten is traffic? Yeah, top ten in movies, uh, ten is traffic. 1.62 million. I've never heard of that. Traffic? I have, that yes, was their I've week. That was it. their weekend gross. Okay. Uh, Ready for Player One was number nine at 2.4 million. Oh. Well, for okay. the weekend, blockers. I want to see that. I, yeah, I don't, where the heck have I been? I, I not. I don't know these movies. Well, I want to see blockers because if you see it put up, what it, it it's this shows a big rooster and then blockers. Oh, cock blockers! Hey. Right, yeah, right. right. The girls are going to the prom. I want to see that. that. It's so stupid. I love it. it, it, it be, the, they said that John Cena is one of the dads, right? And yes. it's, he's supposed to be very good. Matt Aldridge has got another goal to hit right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would like to see that because we all grew up with our own versions of these movies, like Porky's and right. all that. So right, right. it'd be interesting to see what the they're doing with next their generation. The next yeah. generation is doing it. Yeah. So. Uh, seven. Truth or Dare at three point two million. Well, Six. <laughs> Six Super Troopers two at three point six million. I heard there was a first one, yeah. And there's number five Black Panther mm-hmm. four point three million. They're up to six hundred eighty eight million for the run, and that wow. just came out in February, I believe. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. that's good money. Yeah, it's, yeah. that's some good money. Mm. It's pretty good. Uh, Rampage uh, seven point one million at number four. <laughs> is that the, is that the Rock? In Rampage. I think so. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Boy, we really need to start watching I some know, movies. I know, I'm so behind. <laughs> Truth or dare, is that Madonna's thing again? I don't know what that is. Uh, number three, I Feel Pretty. Oh, that's Amy Schumer. Oh, yeah. yeah that's whatever. Amy Schumer. Yeah, okay. 8.1 that million. That just looks like it stinks. <laughs> A Quiet Place at number two. Heard that's really, really good. Oh, yeah. 10 million, 10.6 million. Uh-huh. Super scary. And The yeah. Avengers, we talked about. Infinity Wars. $250 million. Weekend open. Weekend open. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. $250 million. Both uh, Evan and Andrew saw block, or Blockers oh. said it was uh, super funny. So, yeah, so we need yeah. to catch that out. But I do I do recommend. Now, here's the deal. We're going to add a couple things here on my lifestyle. I work and I get tired quicker because I'm, I'm, I'm 53. <laughs> So I, I do that that narcoleptic nod off here and there, right? And so going to see a movie like in the afternoon at night is kind of dangerous for me because I'll nod. I will go out like Black Panther. I kind of I kind of did a couple head jerks. Oh yeah. So Ariana said, "Well, tell you what, why don't we go see it Sunday morning?" I said, "Morning's perfect. I'm already up. I'm I'm, I'm did yeah. not shut my eyes or nothing. It was great. Perfect you got your time. money's worth. <laughs> got the money's worth." Catch a catch a nine ten o'clock in the morning movie. It's cheaper and hardly anyone there. It's great. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the way I'm going now. I remember years ago we went to uh, then- <laughs> went to dinner, and it was late. We went to went went in Fullerton for dinner, and on the way back we're like we wanted to see and this is how long ago it was. Wanted to see Lincoln, right? Oh. And we're looking it up on the way back <laughs> and saying driving in the car. It's like man, we're wide awake, right? Okay, we had dinner, we had a couple glasses of wine, we're ready to go. So we're on the way back, and we're gonna we come all the way back here to the mills to watch it. We stop at the 
liquor store uh-huh. and buy herself some big monsters and some chips and stuff. Don's purse full. You know how you steal. Sure, sure. So, yeah, no, no, no. no, we no it's, it's, but, but we had that thing. Yeah. So as we're sitting there watching, we're all excited. As we're walking in, we're like all excited. Wasn't 10 minutes. I'm doing this. You're up. <laughs> and she keeps looking at me going, come on, wake up. Well, the best part was I caught my second wind about yep. halfway through. That's when she faded. Yeah. <laughs> and then so she, then she was faded. Gone. And then we both, both woke up. Both woke up for the last 10 minutes, and then on the way home, we told each other the first and second half. Just kind of catch up with each other. <laughs> yeah. So where did you go out at? <laughs> it's like, man, what? Well, and in the regular theaters, it's, it gets so uncomfortable after a while. You know, you're, you're, you're back and all that. And In fact, when I a couple years ago, I went to the movies, and I actually took my shoes off, mm-hmm. which kind of grossed people out, but here's what I did. I took my shoes off, but I kept my feet on my shoes. Right. Just because, okay. you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's the shoes. They're, ten, they're two hours sitting there. Well, you want right. to do that because if you put your socks on the ground, they're going to come off. They're never yeah. coming back. <laughs> yeah, the socks will be sitting there rigor mortis Stuck, yeah. waiting for them. But that gross star yawned out so bad. She goes, oh, my God, I can't believe you took your shoes off. Well, I didn't walk around. I didn't put my feet up on the guy behind me or right, in front right, of me right. or anything. But yeah. I, I just, You didn't rub your sock on I didn't go. Like, I didn't take a sock off to wipe a tear or anything <laughs> like that. I didn't use it as a prop. I just took my shoes out. That's all put the shoes away all right but yesterday no problem regular yeah. theater it was it was great great movie yeah well what's dangerous now is some of the theaters have the recliners oh did so that. It, it can be awesome and comfortable but then it yeah much more danger of nodding off yeah i did do yeah. that and that yeah. was awesome and yeah. i did the eating part but it was kind of awkward because you're you're lounged back Mm-hmm. But then you have this tray come out, which is kind of, you feel like a five-year-old at the big table right, trying right, to cut your yeah. food and eat like a normal person. <laughs> and then it gets dark. You can't see the food. It, it, it just it stick with the popcorn and the junior mints, but definitely yeah. get the lounger. Now, that, do, do they serve uh, beer or anything at any of the theaters at Not Ontario the one Mills? I was at, but there are some out there. I think Roy's been to yeah. one. The one in Laverne now. Well, actually, Does the it? one here at the Mills, you can get a drink. Okay, that's what can I was Can you? Wondering. Yeah, they got yeah. a bar right there. Get a drink, oh, walk okay. in there with that. Okay. That's pretty scary. Uh, yeah. Now, the scary thing is the I pick one, and I haven't seen them do it here. Uh-huh. That's my favorite one. Is when you get there, they'll give you a pillow and they'll give you a blanket. <laughs> no, oh, do man. not do that. <laughs> so they give you, you lay down, and then they give you, you put a nice, fresh, clean blanket on. And you're like, oh, that's oh, too rich. That is- Good night. Yeah, yep. yeah. Andrew AMC's doing sure. alcoholic beverage. Oh, I've had a beer and a movie, yeah. but I, I'll tell you what, get a big vent in there and I'll have a cigarette while I'm doing that. That would be, oh, that'd be <laughs> heaven right there. Put a little cone over you. Yeah, just put a little, <laughs> put a little air chamber around me. Right, right. <laughs> that would be perfect. Well. That would be perfect. I would love that. Yeah. <laughs> so Remember look, the old days when you would smoke in a theater? Were you able to smoke in a theater? I don't yeah. remember smoking I in a theater. There's old theater. That. There's yeah. old theater footage where you show in the theater and you can yeah. see the smoke. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. See, I, I, I love. I, I don't like. I smoke, and I don't. I don't like being treated like I get treated sometimes because I smoke. And sometimes sneaking a cigarette is about as bad as trying to sneak a joint ten years ago. You right. know, it's like, what, right. what are you doing? You smoking a joint? Oh, you, you pig. Yeah. yeah. You, you low life now. It's like, what's yeah. he doing over there having a cigarette? Oh my god. Oh my God! What a pig! How disgusting! So now I got to sneak a cigarette like a like a joint. Now a joint's okay. Ah, he's probably got medical problems. I, I've, I told you before, man. Ubering people get in all the time. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I carry I carry an Osium um, can in my truck. Does that work good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's just a touch up like that, yeah. Mm-hmm. The best thing for it is if you want to do your car. Is probably once I do usually do it once a week, but at least once every two or three weeks I try to do it once a week. Uh, McGuire sells this can; it's a bomb. It looks like one of those bug bombs you put in your house. Yeah, and you put that in there, and you you shut all the windows, start the car, turn the AC on, turn it on, recirculate, put it in the back seat on the floor, hit the button, it goes. It's just a mister. Yeah. Close the door, leave fifteen minutes, come back later. Car smells like new every oh, wow. time. People get in the car and go, wow, this still has a new car smell, like <laughs> like a week after I do that. Wow. Nice. So just a little, you know, McGuire's oh, wants to kick us some for, cash. That's good yeah. for everything, like cigarettes, even that musty smell after it rains or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. I got I to gotta check that out. Dude, they're like, uh, they're anywhere between five and six bucks. It's a small little can like this. It's in the air freshener aisle mm-hmm. on the very bottom if you go to Pet Boys. Go to Pet Boys. Yeah. You just... Toss the bomb off, start the car up, you're all good to go. Right, and I'll go. I'll sit on the tailgate for a little bit. I'll do it right there in the parking lot and throw it out. And then, uh, and what I do is because when I'm driving Uber or something, mm-hmm. what I'll do is I'll have um, 
I'll just like someone throws me a cash tip. Yeah. I just go in there. Oh, I got enough. I'll go in there and buy one and psh, Oh, that's it perfect. I like it. Look oh, at that. There's your morning like tips that. right there. It's I like uh, that new car smell. Oh, who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't? It's Ryan Jimmy oh, Morning. It's chaoticradio.com. <clears throat> Chaotic Radio time is 729. Get your asses to work or we'll take you there. Roy and Jimmy in the morning. It is the Roy and Jimmy thing. It is. Catech Radio no, it's time. Not. It's is. Roy and Jimmy in the morning. Dang it. <laughs> it's Roy and Jimmy in the morning with Donna Main. Catech Radio time is 742. And we got a little something here. Where is it? Oh. There we go. Breaking news. <laughs> you all hold yourself. Get your coffee. <laughs> Earthquake just reported in Norco. Ooh. Nine miles from us. It was 1.7 miles deep. Ooh. That's pretty Significance good. Significance is 65. The event code, in case you're wondering, is C13816101. Nearby, nearby cities affected. Two miles south southwest of Miraloa, Loma. Four miles west southwest of Pedley. Five miles southwest of Glen Avon. And six miles north of Home Gardens. Ready? Two. <laughs> <laughs> this is two, a big one. <laughs> two <laughs> two point oh. We need to, we need to get a throat lozenge sponsor for you, buddy. So two point. I was I was like doing that rough thing. I yeah. Think, yeah. Two point oh. Right now in Norco. Did you feel it? Probably not. If you did, definitely no. hit us up on social media. Give us a call. Tell us if you felt the earthquake. We did not feel it here. No. And uh, the, the headquarters of chaoticradio.com and Ranch Cook Mike, we did not feel that here at all. And they definitely didn't feel it in the main office of Cut and Shoot. No, and if they did, we're not here anymore. No. <laughs> they went all the way to the center there. <laughs> Look uh, at that. That was, our, that was our first breaking news. Wow. Uh, just so you know, today at 3.06 a.m., there was actually a 2.8 in Borrego Springs. At 12.40 a.m., there's a 2.6 in Borrego Springs. Where is Home Gardens? That sounds like it's next to gonna, Lowe's or something. I was going to say, I've that, never is heard that, of that. Is, is, is that like in, is that like in Lowe's, the Home Garden <laughs> section? I don't know. Home Gardens? <laughs> uh, 2.2 in Grapevine. Oh, oh 2.0 Mammoth Lakes and another 2.0 in Mammoth Lakes. But you know, that, I, that I, happened. Mammoth I, Lakes. I somebody somebody put down, uh, I saw on Facebook, a news article, so take it as you want, that uh, scientists, in air quotes, says that the uh, San Andreas is locked and loaded. It's been locked and loaded since right? I was 10. Yeah, we hear it like, but it, like every years. six months, they'll say, you know, brace yourself, it's coming, yeah. earthquake preparedness, all that right. good stuff. You know, real quick, though, if you uh, before we even get going, anytime you hear Roy and Jimmy on the air yes, at chaoticradio.com, we are brought to you by the lovely and talented artisans at Kudos Pizzeria. Yum. Two convenient Yay. locations to serve you, Upland and Rancho Cucamonga. You know what, Roy? Donna? Yes. You what? design perfection? Oh. They're going to build it. Oh. oh wow. 66 fresh ingredients. That equals 13 quadrillion combinations. <laughs> oh, my God. So it's pizza, <laughs> pizza, pasta, and more. It is Kudos Pizzeria. Ranch Cucamonga and Upland. Definitely drop in and tell you what, just because, just because I'm feeling, I don't know, giving on Monday. Whoa, Jimmy. Mention the Roy and Jimmy thing and get 15% off your entree. That's a deal. That's a deal. Yeah. And definitely subscribe to them on Facebook and Instagram. They have daily specials. Uh, great food. Go knock yourself out. A lot of our people here, uh, our listeners, have been there. And uh, I believe Dennis and a couple people run out over tomorrow. I'll try and meet you guys there. But definitely kudos, Pizzeria. Uh, tell them we sent you. And don't forget about their free pizza for your giveaway. Free pizza for your uh, You know what? I have those files. I know. I was waiting. I have to give them to yeah, you. I know. I know. I know. I've been a busy guy. So, got, so I got stuff on my mind. So, easy way to do it: go there, buy a pizza, take a picture of your pizza, hashtag free kudos pizza, tag them in social media. We'd appreciate it if you tagged the Roy and Jimmy thing, and also post it, and you are entered to win free pizza for a year. Free pizza for a year. And speaking of kudos pizzeria, we're going to fire up the chaotic radio kudos pizzeria traffic helicopter. We just put the graphics on it. 
We should. And we just did. Oh, yes, we did. Yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, we wrapped that helicopter. Uh, 210 westbound in Monrovia, right around Huntington. Big backup. Accident on the shoulder. Uh, all lanes are... Oh, shoulder is blocked. Sorry, not all lanes. That's backing you up all the way through Azusa, pretty much all the way to the 57. So if you're on the 210 west, Don, you might leave early. Uh, 210 westbound our area in Ranch Cucamonga. Speeds are around 22. Nothing big going on, but speeds are slowing. 71 freeway southbound at Euclid. Speeds are down to 6 miles an hour. And I don't know what happened, but the 91 westbound just west of the 15? Yes, sir. You're flowing 45 miles an hour all the way through there. That is a banner day. Is it a holiday? I don't know what's going on. Um, Looking for Commander Matt, he just came back from Vegas. Haven't heard from him. So if you got anything going on, Matt, let yeah, us definitely. know. And anybody calls us with a live traffic update, we'll win a kudos pizza for this morning. Uh, 57 southbound in the city of Brea. Looks like the problem is a stalled car right around your Belinda, but you're backed up. Speeds are down to 10 miles an hour all the way up to Imperial. So uh, get off going early. There you go. That's a. Uh, how much of a gift can we give you when we clear the 91 like that for you? <laughs> we just did it. Now, if you go there now and it gets blocked up, hey, not my problem. Not my problem. It was clear. We had it clear for a minute. It's all we can do. It's all we can do. Jump on it right now. Like I said, call us in for the live traffic no update. You will win a kudos pizza courtesy of the Roy and uh, both Why am I missing this? You were the guy. I'm the guy. You were the guy last week. I am the guy this week. Courtesy right. of Roy and Jimmy in the morning right here on chaoticradio.com. And uh, chaotic radio time is 748 already. Yes, it is. Ooh. Wow. 12 minutes. Better hurry. You got 12 minutes to get there. If you're on 91, unless you're getting off right. If you're anywhere, if you're not on the off ramp, yeah. you're probably late. Oh, you're so late. You are so late. Your boss going to fire you. It's not. It doesn't look good for you. And it doesn't make us happy then because then you can't, you know... Well, no, you could. You could actually spend your time off from not working to put the Roy and Jimmy in the morning campaign up, you know. Right. That's what I'm saying. Never mind. (laughs) (laughs) Just be late. Are we doing a little sports? you ready for that or you want to wait a little bit? Yeah, I'm just taking a drink of water for the old whistler. All righty. Let's get you some. Let's get you some different sports music here. All right. Uh, yesterday in baseball, it was a bad day for both home teams yesterday. Well, but not a bad day for Commander Matt. No, Commander Matt had a good had yeah. a good weekend. Uh, yeah. The Dodgers had that doubleheader with uh, San Francisco on Saturday. We took the first one, I believe, it was fifteen to six. Yeah, mm-hmm. softball but, game. But that was the only highlight of that uh, that stand up at AT and T Park. Uh, San Francisco did beat LA Dodgers yesterday, four to two. Uh, Yankees over the Angels two to one, and they lost one Saturday also. Did it was they? Close game, but they lost one Saturday also. So, uh, anything else going on? We talk- oh yes, I did. Uh, NASCAR yesterday, Talladega. We just got our uh, we got our live traffic update from our, our own Dutchie the Punk DJ says there's an accident at Hermosa in six. That's outside. I'll be right back. <laughs> Go check it out. Take a picture, Jimmy. <laughs> Be right back here. <laughs> uh, NASCAR yesterday, Joey Logano holds off Kurt Busch for the win at Talladega. Uh, top five is Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott, Kevin Harvick, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Uh, pretty bad accident. We're wondering, is it a picture? No, I think he's probably talking about us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he's saying we're the accident at Hermos in six. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow, whatever. <laughs> Bad one. Of the, well, you know, when you're not when when you're not the best stage show on chaotic as we've heard, we're getting pushed at us. Yeah, exactly. We're doing what we can, but we, yeah, we, we can. are an accident. accident but apparently, there's, just, there's another radio. <laughs> there's another show that's like way better than us. We keep hearing about. A bad weekend for the Indians. Good weekend for the Cavs. That's what we're getting. We're getting live sports updates. Also, this is great. Yeah, so just call and get our sports. It's funny, Jimmy went out to take a picture, and they had to take a picture of us. <laughs> That's us. That's, That's the, the accident. accident. Damn it. Whatever. Get your punk ass to work. <laughs> oh, punk DJ ass. It's punk DJ ass. Yo, yo, wanker. Yo, wanker. Yo, damn leprechaun. Yo, wanker. Oh, is that still the sports music playing? Just wondering. Yeah. I was kind of, you know what it felt like? What? I felt like game show host. And let's play. This used to be the theme, for, I believe, for like the NBA back in the day, for like on CBS. Oh, you know what? I think it is. Yeah, I do. Re- I do. I just I don't kind of pull, I I don't kinda, pull shit out of my yes. ass. Sometimes I do, but. 
See, it's action packed right there. Whoa, who was that? Yeah. That was that me or you? Oh, that was that you just saw it. No, you see, he's just talking about an actual accident. So uh, I'll wait till the sirens show up. So our next break, I'll go out and take some live. Oh, pictures. there's. I thought he was talking about us. Uh, yeah, that would have been just, funnier if he said just heard it. Then I'm like, oh, you son of a bitch. That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah. you, you got us. Are he to send you a happy emoji saying, yeah, exactly. oh, "I got you guys. You guys suck." <laughs> you talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, damn! Right in front of him. I was wondering what you did when you said there was an accident on Hermosa and Six. He probably did. I said, Dutchie, what did you do? We got, uh, <laughs> we got, we got time for it now. Uh, top we- ten words made up because they really kind of like words that they made up because they really didn't mean anything. Okay, to make them fit. Uh, ten is Wi-Fi was made up because the real word wasn't catchy enough. What is the real word? Uh, creation word stands for wire wireless fidelity. Fidelity. Uh huh. Mm. Hmm. That was wireless. Uh, Wi-Fi stands for wire, wireless fidelity. Wireless fidelity. And they okay. made it up because why? Because if you say, "Hey, are you hooked up to the wireless fidelity?" Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be awkward. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be more awkward than anything. Yeah. Um, new created wireless networks used. Uh, blah, blah, didn't exactly. Re- oh, here it is. Uh, Hill says the name was needed because the technical specification for the newly created wireless networks used called. IEE 802.11 didn't exactly roll off the tongue. Okay. Mm, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, Hagen Dawes was made up by a guy sitting at a kitchen table. Okay. Wasn't like a big someone. I thought it was someone's name. Hagen Dawes? Yeah, yeah. What, what does it I mean? I thought, like, you know, like a city, someone's last name. Yeah. However, they, they based that at Hagen Dawes. Give us the. Uh, according to Ruben Mateus. Oh, Ruben, what's up, buddy? What's up, Ruben? You make a good sandwich. I love a Reuben. I love a good Reuben. <laughs> the original creator of haagen brand, he came up with a new iconic name of his pillowy soft ice cream after spending several hours saying nonsense words aloud until he found one that sounded neat. So... So does it have any meaning? No. Nothing? No. no. To be a Danish Just... word early haagen packaging, the packaging wasn't even included on a map of Denmark. Denmark. So he just was rolling off names, and he goes, that sounds cool. That's catchy. Whatever it kind of just goes together. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Fair enough. Good thing it wasn't ball sweat. Um, that, <laughs> you just say ball sweat. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. You. You morning zoo guy. Idaho was a word someone pulled out of thin air. Idaho. Really? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was just a ratchet in the hood a saying, ratchet. Idaho. <laughs> well, that, that, that definitely yeah. would be lit. According to hysterians, the name of potato state ha- the potato state has no meaning in any known language, and it was, as far as anyone can tell, just made up a made up word suggested by an elderly territorial representative for the area area named B. D. Davis. And we thought it was like an Indian name uh-huh. or something. The story yeah. goes oh that God. long the, before the Idaho, Idaho tribe or something like yeah, that. Sure, yeah. sure. Long before Idaho was called well Idaho, someone proposed naming it Jefferson. Republicans voted against this, and Williams instead suggested Idaho, claiming that it was an old Indian Indian word meaning "gem of the mountains." Almost uh-huh. immediately, it was debunked <laughs> that it uh-huh. did not. No Indian tribe in the nation heard that word. <laughs> See, I like the word "debunked." Like this, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's it's, a, it's a finite, exactly to the point. I debunk you, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. It yeah. is corruption, certainly a counterfeit, and ought to be adopted. So they started using it anyway. Just like the way it sounded. But see, it was out there enough where it got to be catchy, and, and goes, then everyone used it. And okay, it goes with potatoes. It right, it does. Potatoes. It does. It kind of goes together. What do you got, Jefferson potatoes? I don't think that's going to work no. for us. That no, that sounds terrible. Yeah, if right. I saw that big bag at Costco, it said Jefferson potatoes, I'd be like, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah, go to yeah. Idaho's. Yeah, and and the, and the the potato flakes. I mean, you wouldn't have the Idahoan. You ever seen Idahoan? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the bag of flakes, that's yeah. right, yeah. Right. Well, what would right. you do then? Jeffersonian. Jeffersonian? Yeah, Jeffersonian, like a, flakes. You know Jeffers- like a, Jeffersonian flakes. You know what it sounds like? Huh? Sounds like a uh, museum. Jeffersonian uh, au gratin. Ooh, it's see, just, see yeah, I guess there'll be a lot of syllables right yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, SOS doesn't really mean anything. Since for sa- everyone assumed it stood for save our souls or save our ship or something similar. Right. It is maritime. Yeah. Um, to explain, you may not or may not know, the universal's distress for Morse code is three dots, three dashes, and we know that. Right, right. Oh, well, some of us do. Hmm. But uh, SOS actually meant nothing. 
to explain you may not know the universal sign for distress blah blah, blah. Um, officially introduced in 1905 by German, German government the sequence of signals is difficult to misinterpret easy to recognize recognize but it, it SOS doesn't mean any of those things save our souls or sh- it just made up three letters <laughs> okay <laughs> That one's sweaty balls. That, that kind of fell on a test right there, didn't it? <laughs> well, I didn't really tell you why. Just, exactly, SOS right? really went out yeah. simply because it was so visibly distinctive and the fact that it could be read from any direction, allowing sa- stranded sailors to additionally type out SOS with rocks and stuff. like like With rocks and stuff? Yeah, yeah. like, no, like um, Tom Hanks. So we saw he put uh, SOS in the... Well, box. yeah, I mean, yeah, it does catch yeah. your attention, but it just doesn't... It didn't help right. us with the origin right there. Right. Moving on. Moving Zumba, on. <laughs> Zumba was made up over lunch in a single afternoon. Yes, it was. It sounds like it was. We're going to do... We're going to go Zumba. Zumba. What do you, we need a catchy brand name for this yeah. thing. Good thing they didn't call it Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Idaho was already taken. Jefferson exercise? No, yeah. that wouldn't catch yeah. on. I love this. Jinsu. The knives? Yes. Yes. Was invented to make the knives made in Ohio seem Jan's Japanese. <laughs> That's so racist. That's awesome, though. <laughs> They're made in Ohio. Hey, we need a Japanese uh, name for a knife. Uh, make a jinsu. The, and the, the funny part is that caught on. Everyone thought it's actually from. Jinsu. From Japan. Yeah, yeah. from Jinsu, Japan. Or yeah. Jinsu, whatever. I've heard Jinsu and Ginsu. Yeah. Oh, but, there you go. Yeah, it's like yeah. Jif and Gif. People, right, yeah, right. how they, mm-hmm. how they, they yeah. take that G. But what 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 would you say more as? I've always said Ginsu, but I, I you have I have heard Ginsu more yeah, the hard G. Yeah. I'm the Ginsu. I think it's you're the, the Ginsu hard G yeah. because I think it was Ginsu. It would be a J. Yeah, and I Ginsu. I, I remember that from the the commercials. I think they called it Ginsu yeah, knives. Yeah. Whatever. But it doesn't matter because it was total. Bullshit. Because it was wrong. <laughs> Let's see here. You know, I'll pull up. I'll pull up that uh, that uh, Ginsu oh, yeah. commercial well, got, yeah, and com- see what we got here. Yeah, Ginsu knife says. commercial. <laughs> Let's see what we got yeah, here. Okay. Is that, one of the, the is that one of those popeal... Uh, yeah. No, that's a spray but. paint. <laughs> it says, although the commercials played into the katana-like sharpness of the knives and leaned heavily into Japanese imagery, right. including use of fonts seemingly ripped straight out of a Japanese B-movie about ninjas, mm-hmm. all Ginsu or Jinsu knives were designed and manufactured the dude, the dude in Ohio. His, the dude with his hand in the tomato. It's a knife that no kitchen should be without. The Ginsu can cut Ginsu. a slice of bread so thin you can almost see through it. That is a thin piece of that is thin bread. Better than you just an electric cut. knife and goes through frozen food as though it were melted oh. butter. I want three of these. Ginsu is so sharp it can cut through a tin can. Did they hit yeah. the they hit the handle with the like with a hammer yet? Not yet. Chop he's, he's chopping some. Fun. Oh, he's popping wood right now. What's more, it's he's popping wood. My bad. Sorry. Forever. How much would you pay for a knife like this? Yep. Hit the handle now. Beat the shit out of the handle. Comes with a matching fork to make carving a pleasure. For the carvings. Much, much more. There's we a pocket Ginsu. Doing the carrots. Peels and slivers carrots. Peels potatoes and slices paper thin Peels potato those Idahoans down. Yeah. Oh, that is way for thin. Great carrots. I want three of these things. Well, you know what cracks me up about that? Huh. How much would you the Jinsu? Let's see how much they want. Well, Twelve bucks. We give you this set of six Dishwasher safe. Oh, and six. Six. Match the Ginsu. Here we go. And to make the offer completely irresistible, you'll get this unique spiral slicer. Oh, oh now it's completely around, irresistible. I got one of those. Beautiful garnish they work. For your beautiful garnish. <laughs> now how much would how you much? pay? How much yeah. would you pay? You get the Ginsu knife, the matching carving fork. The versatile six-in-one kitchen tool, and? a set of six steak knives, and? and the spiral slicer. You get them all. Guaranteed in writing for 50 years for 50 only years. $9.95. Nine ninety-five. <laughs> Ten <laughs> bucks. Here's how to order. Call toll-free 1-800-835-246. We should call these numbers. Yeah. <laughs> we can call them on air. Yeah, I call them on there. Yeah, I would this like to buy the kitchen knife for nineteen ninety-five, please. Nine ninety-five. Nine ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> The knives are as authentic as Roy's that was accent. Just what, that was it? Just one Ouch. payment? That what, there, was there wasn't payment. Not an installment and, plan? The funny part about those infomercials back in the day, when, when you're like young and you don't have a lot of money and you see these commercials like on a... The, yeah. the shopping networks or these kind of things, you're like, you know, five payments of twenty ninety nine. Right. You're right. like, yeah, shit, I can afford that. Right. That's great. You made it sound but so then cheap. you get money, you start 
watching them again when you have money you go i wouldn't pay for that shit (laughs) 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 how much is this thing but i always figured the product is more of a piece of shit when they say order now and we'll double your order yeah why would you need to no it's not a piece it's just that much of a value well no i i think it's it's cheap as shit why would you do that it was pretty irresistible though you guys it makes it irresistible but my thinking is if you're offering two for the same price it's a piece of shit you're telling me that first one's gonna break you need a spare (laughs) well hold on that's what i'm hearing guaranteed for 50 years, Jimmy. That's true. 50 years. Jeez. And I, that I potato the company, slicer. I wonder if the company's <laughs> even around anymore. Yeah, that potato slicer, though, that, that was the that was the bomb shit right there. I have one. You do have the, the potato slicer? <laughs> I think we should call the number and tell, yes. them, tell them we've had ours for 49 years. Yeah, it's been 49 it just, years. It's, what, the what, handle it, finally it broke. It just fell apart. Our handle finally yeah. broke. We, we're not going to stand is, this shit. So what is the number? Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll look it up during the break. We're yes. going to take our break right now. But we'll look we, that we'll up. We'll come back with the rest of the the, the list because this is the next one. <laughs> that would be like. hilarious. We'll just call them up and see what I'm going to call. Uh, you know what? I'll call them and say, uh, I have a Ginsu knife, uh, knifey. <laughs> and uh, breaking a window caught a big piece of fish. <laughs> was frozen like a you show Just on. Tell, tell them you were cutting a tin can and the thing broke. Yeah. I cutting shoe after tin can. <laughs> I think, I think you turned Russian there for a second. I did a little <laughs> bit. He kind of drifted in. It's Roy and Jimmy in the morning. It is chaoticradio.com. Chaotic Radio time is 8.02. Get your ass to work. You're late now. <laughs> <laughs> that was a request out there going out to Ariana. This is one of the songs where we did a show uh, on our nighttime show about misheard lyrics or missung lyrics. Mm-hmm. Um, and this didn't come up, but uh, Ariana mentioned how this one she says <laughs> she thought it was oh so scary. <laughs> <laughs> and damn it, it worked. It yeah. worked. But oh, it, so scary. It, it yeah. reminded me of the video. We haven't seen the video, we don't see videos anymore. So when the music video came out, the guy, her boyfriend, is a dick. Total douche. And the beginning of it makes me laugh. I'm going to play it right now. It's... I'm so happy the band's doing well. By the way, what's with the hair? Is that part of the new image? (laughs) He's such a dick. (laughs) (laughs) It is... (laughs) He's <laughs> such a dick. I got to pull that clip. We got to use that. One more time. Make me laugh. I'm so happy the band's doing well. By the way, what's with the hair? <laughs> <laughs> what a jack. Jack makes me laugh every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, the, the the accident on Hermosa in six must have cleared up because it is all clear. Mm. Everyone's running through right there. So it was a it was a ghosting accident. Uh, That's the new word, uh, ghosting. I think we're I think yeah. we all just need to be happy and that our lives are saved since it was so close. Yeah, yeah. That the earthquake and, and that earthquake, that, yeah. that, that, that major earthquake and that major accident. Boy, we. Uh, <laughs> I didn't feel the earthquake, but I think my stomach was growling. Was, <laughs> That's what I thought I yeah. felt. <laughs> Are you guys we're now talking we're, about pizza? So. Now, yeah, we, we've been out here long enough that sometimes when you feel an earthquake, you're like, oh, you, you get that feeling real quick. But when someone yeah. says they felt an earthquake, you feel kind of left out that you missed yeah. it. You're like, I, I didn't yeah. feel it. I know. Now, I live on the it's, third story, right. so we feel everything. You know, so a one mm-hmm. point something and higher, you definitely feel it three stories up. Yeah. Do a little, the neighbor yeah. has gas downstairs. You're going to feel the place move a little bit. A little bit. rumbling, yeah. <laughs> but I've been, yeah. I've been at work. Yes. We've been here in, on the air and there's been an earthquake and we're ground floor here. We don't feel nothing, but we're getting all these calls. I felt the earthquake and we're like, oh. Sometimes you just hear it. Yeah. You know, and you kind of stop to wait to see if what it's going to get bigger. What they call yeah. that now? The kids call it FOMO, fear of missing out. You're like, oh. I never heard FOMO. FOMO. FOMO, FOMO is a, is a wow. newer term, yes. Fear of missing out. I'm impressed. Like BOGO, buy one, get one, half YOLO. off or free, and YOLO. <laughs> <Like> YOLO. <laughs> the, it, what made me laugh, a YOLO up in Northern California between like Davis and UC Davis and Sacramento, there's a town called YOLO. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. You only yeah. live once in YOLO. YOLO. In YOLO. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. You were talking and about. Once, once may be too much in YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. Oh, no. I'm moving out of YOLO. No, you're not. <laughs> you not only the, live here once. One too many times. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Reminded me that the the story I told about when I was living at it, it uh, some friends of mine. Uh, things were a little tough, and they they I moved in downstairs to their place. It's a great one. <laughs> and I moved in downstairs. I was actually talking to Don on the phone, and. Uh, I, I I was probably about one in the morning. I was it was kind of like my own little spot, you know. I had a bathroom and everything down there. It was pretty cool, and it was a little little, little gassy. <laughs> <laughs> and, and their bedroom was right above mine, so all of a sudden, you know, I, I I'm down there by myself, and I figured no one's going to hear that. Well, first of all, Dawn's like, "What was that?" <laughs> she heard it on the phone. <laughs> but the best part was I let that thing go like that, and all of a sudden upstairs. It's like one in the morning. Their dog was in their room with them. You hear the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hear John yell, Dugan! <laughs> it's like, oh! The shot heard around the world. <laughs> I shook the dog. <laughs> I could see them all sleep. Dog passed out at the foot of the bed. Someone's <laughs> <It's> coming. <laughs> no, just me. Well, they say animals are very sensitive. Yeah. The, poor, poor Roy wrecked that poor dog. <laughs> and I couldn't stop laughing because I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I woke them up from their slumber. Oh, my God. I mean, not like someone laying in the room next to you in the same bed. It was upstairs. Oh, my God. So funny. My favorite. (laughs) (laughs) Number four, Kodak was named up by a guy who loved the letter K. Hmm. Now, I thought Kodak was somebody's name. Well, Eastman Eastman. is someone's name. But I thought Eastman Kodak was the name. Eastman Kodak, yeah. Yeah, Eastman Kodak. uh, 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 Paul McCartney's first wife, Linda, was Linda Eastman. Part, right, part but she, of. but it was, it was a, a rumor that she was related to the Eastman Kodak family, but she was not. Ooh, she that was, harlot! That's, yes, that's that's oh. fake news. Oh, fake yeah. news! Oh, 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 busted! <laughs> yeah. Yes, um. she she was a <laughs> photographer, but she was it, she was not part of the Eastman Kodak family. Oh, what a liar! Yeah. Oh my God! If she w- if she would have been, she wouldn't have had to like you know ride the tails of someone popular oh yeah. see i did not that was de- that that's is debunked debunked i love that's that debunked, word. That's debunked oh. right one, here one popular theory is that the word kodak is an i don't know how to say this word onomatopoeic automatopoeic uh-huh. yeah it representation of the sound a camera shutter makes when you take a photo perhaps a nod to the fact that you could use an especially large let me see how we used to take i know pictures. kodak <laughs> I did not. I did not experience the, the whole picture taken with that. Uh, which is nice is a load of bunk, because according to Kodak itself, the founder of the company, George Eastman, basically pulled the name out of his butt. <laughs> you ass puller! Wow! Pulled the name right out. Kodak. It, it reminds me of that old stupid <laughs> joke. Yeah, that's not Kodak. I I, I I don't even know I could do this joke without getting in trouble. Hmm. Never mind. So two, so two little girls. Here it is. Two little girls are getting. He's kind of jipping. Yeah. Two oh, little, yeah. two little girls are gonna get their pictures taken. They're like, oh, we're gonna get our picture taken. We're gonna get our picture taken. Mm-hmm. And they're they're getting ready to go. And and the guy's getting ready. The old one when he puts the hood over. You know that old photo. Yeah. 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 And he's getting okay. Smile. And he puts his head under there. And the little girl goes, "What is he doing? What are you doing, sir?" And he goes, "I've got to focus." And she goes, both of us? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Jesus. Tony Valdez, good morning. He popped in the chat room. Tony, good morning, guys and gal. Hey, Tony, what's going on, buddy? Uh, We're throwing everyone's morning. night shift. Good morning. Good morning. We're throwing everyone's night shift off. Off. Speaking of the yeah, nights. Yeah. Speaking of the yeah, nights. Yeah, let's make that official. First of all, tonight, chaoticradio.com, it is 7 to 9, the Zig Zone with our buddy Zig Ray, all the way from Sam Bernardino. Sam Bernardino. Coming on. You can get Bernardino down, but you can't get Sam. 
Sam. It's Sam. Sam, Sam, <laughs> Sam Bernardino. Bernardino. Sam Bernardino. They are <laughs> on every Monday night, 7 to 9, right here at chaoticradio.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, before that, though, Roy and Jimmy, we have a replay that happens 5 to 7 every Monday night. So we'll pop a little classic show yeah, on there. Right. But we'll be back here tomorrow morning, 7 to 9. But in the meantime, with our, our slot on Tuesday nights, 8 to 10, guest permitting, we're mm-hmm. going to run some replays because I'll tell you what, we're pretty darn tired. Six hours yeah. of radio in two days is a yeah. is a lot. Need a nap is a lot. We need a nap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need a nap. We well, so we noticed nap. last week when we had to restart the show after the first start. We go, we better restart this. Yeah, we did two little, starts on that, uh, yeah, on that show last down. week. Yeah, it was like no energy, and it's uh, like we almost did four <laughs> mini shows uh, in that. So we'll do a little best of uh, on Tuesday nights, and uh, unless we have a guest coming in, but we'll definitely keep you uh, posted on that because doggone it, we're having a great time in the mornings here. Yeah, yeah, yes. fun, lot, lot of fun. Yeah. And if you're having a good time listening to us, give us a call at 909-360-8330. That gets you into the, the Roy and Jimmy in the Morning hotline here at chaoticradio.com. Jack of All Nerds presents chaoticradio.com, home of the Roy and Jimmy thing. Uh, number three. Number three of made-up names. Halitosis. Bad breath. What? Halitosis was made up to sell you mouthwash. Made up? Mm-hmm. So they gave it like a scientific sounding name, like mm-hmm. Listerine probably did this. Yeah, here's the thing. Though, there's no such thing as halitosis. Huh. It was made up, it was a made up metal condition coined by the owner of Listerine in the 1920s. There you go. Wow. You said no such thing as halitosis. I'm going to say you need to meet a couple people I know. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that, that shit is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the most popular version of the story it follows after failing to market listerine as everything from antiseptic to cure gonorrhea that you could also use to scrub wow. your floors really company <laughs> owner jordan wheat lambert decided to change the tax and market his product to cure for bad breath to convince the public they needed listerine lambert scoured the dictionary and happened upon an old latin word meaning breath halitus which he decided need to stylize into halitosis to make it sound legitimate like a legitimate medical condition the company then ran a series of ads claiming that halitosis halitosis which they defined as meaning unpleasant breath was a chronic problem plaguing america which was today had a cure so we've been falling for fake shit for, for centuries yes pretty decades, much centuries. yeah this fake news isn't new yeah this is not new <laughs> this is not new all is well so he coined hal- how badass the halitosis i mean you probably look it's in the dictionary now it, well yeah you yeah exactly yeah. it became part of the nomenclature or our, 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 our culture our lifestyle and somebody sat there and thought of this yeah i can't do that i can't think of a new name to sell something yeah. I, yeah. what do you think roy what sounds awful and start thinking of new shit, mm-hmm. new words that haven't been made. And then we'll make something to cure that problem. Right. What's going to scare the heck out of people? Halitosis. Halitosis. Ooh, are you, you have an affliction of halitosis. First thing you do, <laughs> you your, have, heart, your heart stops for a minute going, I, I'm going to make it? Am I, that, what, yeah. What, what, what is that? Am I dying? We have, you have mega duck butter. <laughs> <laughs> with food. <laughs> duck butter. <laughs> You went with duck butter. <laughs> Roy will rate the food. <laughs> you got mega duck butter duck in your butt. <laughs> what? Which cheek? <laughs> I don't know. If it's there too long, it backs up, but it can be alitosis. I mean, the best I can come up with is pripilosis or something like that. Right. Kind of get right to the point. You have to put an osis or an itis. Itis, osis. On anything. It duck butter, it sounds duck butter itis. It's like writing a joke yeah. backwards. Yeah. Get a punchline first and then go backwards from the right. punchline. So get the osis yeah. or the itis. Exactly. There you go. Or otomy. Because, yeah. You know, you need for your osis is an otomy well, to fix a, that thing. An itis is, is yes. an infection of something. Yeah, no, so, no. Yeah. You're Chronic inflicted problem. with an osis. Yeah. 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 Osis or itis? Butterosis. Yeah. Butterosis. <laughs> <laughs> you got butterosis, buddy. <laughs> I feel like that would give you swamp butt. <laughs> <laughs> swamp butt, mud butt, your butt. Yeah, all bad. <laughs> uh, number two. Okay was probably coined as a joke. Okay was okay? probably coined as a joke. Yeah. Okay. According to the I'm Smithsonian. Okay. Look what I just did. I it fell for it again. The, mm-hmm. the Smithsonian. That's big. Mm-hmm. The origins of the word okay are entirely clear, but commonly and highly, the common and highly plausible theory is that it was coined a joke and has no definite meaning. What the hell was that? <laughs> was that a howl or a, think, a who? 
Is that our airplane? The studio is haunted. Yes, we have a... Did you guys hear that? That was weird. We all stopped. It's Weed Eater Day, so we've been, you know... Weed eater in a lawn blur. That was our time on that. But now we got this this going on. Howls, yes. We don't need mystery howls. God. God. So we have Mr. Howl here. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jimmy. Oh my God, love it. <laughs> um, Skipper, put his pants on. It's created the word. Uh, someone created the word satirically around 1879. Said the article just that OK was an acronym for all. O L L K O R R E C T. Now, what? when I was in school, <laughs> when I, I always, was in, I've always wondered how to, I've always wondered how to address that. Now, the deliberate misspelling of all correct it should have been all correct is suggested that somehow s- struck a chord with the public and entered into the popular speech. But I heard, and what was Mister Zimmer? Remember our fifth grade teacher? Yeah, Mister Zimmer. Yes, my word is my bond. Right. Mr. Zimmer, I remember, said that word we came from old Kinderhook. So oh it's God, German? Is, yes. Of German origin? Yes, because so Mr. Zimmer old, was, was uh, quite the crowd. something with an O instead of an A as an all. Old Kinderhook. Let me see here because... You're saying it wrong. He's, Kinderhook. He's, Kinderhook. It's got to it's, <clears throat> hit them syllables. Man, I kind of... The, oh, the real origin of okay... Hmm. Maybe uh, okay. There's a cause for it comes from a Haitian port called Ah uh, Craze. But That's crazy. Makes me mad. Cray, 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 cray. Cray, cray. That's cray, cray. Y- y'all, y'all lit on that. And okay. this is from the Smithsonian, right? Not the Jeffersonian. Right. Uh, it's Idahoan. <laughs> the Jeffersonian. Idaho Owen. <laughs> Owen Wilson. I don't know. I'm confused now. Uh, number one, Jimmy, you knew this, and being a Dodge Chrysler guy. Okay. You know where I'm going with this? I do not. How about Re- Ricardo Montalban? Does that help you? Oh, yeah. The, the oh. fake word being Corinthian. Corinthian, Corinthian leather. Corinthian leather. Be fine, Corinthian oh, leather. No, no such thing. No such thing. No yeah. such place, no such people, no but such you know thing. And that is, that's some ad brainstorming right there. Yeah. yeah. What do we call it? Leather? We call it yeah. fine leather. Oh. How about good leather? Nice leather? Corinthian right. leather. Whoa, and with his accent? Oh, it's oh sold. Ricardo Montalban. My buddy John's he... mom bought that Cordova because of Ricardo Montalban. Well, absolutely. Yes. He could have said cardboard Mr. leather. Yeah, yeah. That, you Mr. Know, Mr. Fantasy leather. Island yeah. there. Yeah. Hello, Tattoo. Yes. Bring over the Corinthian leather. I'm going yes. to Corinthia. I'm going, <laughs> going to Corinthia. Now you sound like Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> We're going to Corinthia. <laughs> where where, where said, is, where is said, Corinthia? Buddy Otis. Is it near uh, Idaho? Uh, Corinthian <laughs> leather. Of course, why not the best? It's the same with our new Chrysler New Yorker. It gives you everything. A New Yorker. What a pile of shit. Mm. All right. Oh, we got to do that. Just, Corinthian anything, in the, just, anything in the 70s was a piece of shit. Just my luck. I did not meet Ricardo Montalban, but I did meet Tattoo. I did. <laughs> Your back has been out ever since. Hey, little buddy. He, he, yeah. That, that very, word is awesome. Yeah, Here it is again. tiny guy. Everyone Perfect. asks, Corinthian leather. Of course, why not the best? <laughs> it's the same with our new Chrysler New Yorker. It gives you everything. What Powerful V6, yeah. anti-lock brakes, front-wheel drive, rich leather, 770 protection plan. And Chrysler's exclusive Crystal Key program, complete car coverage with owner care that's even mm-hmm. better than Rolls Royce or Mercedes. Oh, shit. Chrysler wow. New Yorker gives you the one thing you always wanted in a luxury car. Mm. Everything. Oh, what a sell. So wow. Rolls Royce, Jaguar, Ricardo. Chrysler. Wow. Yeah. It is better than Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying Maybe. to you? The leather was actually made from a factory in Jersey, and the phrase was something thought up by an ad executive to make the Chrysler Cordoba sound cool and exotic. It was made in Jersey. Made in Jersey. Made in Jersey. Uh, Are you done with that Corinthian leather yet? Let's see. To, to uh, doubly sell the public on the uh, true origins of leather, Chrysler hired actor Ricardo Maltaban to be the mm-hmm. spokesman for the car, presumably because of the words Corinthian leather it sounded, sounded ridiculously sweet in his su- impossibly oh, in his impossibly Spanish accent. For years yeah. the company and Maltaban uh, himself refused to admit that if anything Corinthian leather was supposed to mean until it was clear the actor was asked point blank during an during a interview on Letterman to spill huh. the beans to say it did not exist. Uh, Don mm. piped in saying, 
Halitosis is real. Yeah, it is real. The it meaning, is real. The meaning is sure. real. What we're yes. saying is the origin of the word right. is right. not. It's not. Yeah, it was. It was. It's a, it's it, a marketing yeah. word. It, it was made as a marketing word by yeah. Listerine, mm-hmm. but it's actually now meant to mean bad breath. But right. originally, there was no medical reading for it. It was a made up word. Now, right. Now and, now and it's, it's like, accepted. And as, it's like, it, no. it basically was a brand for the brand. It's mm-hmm. like a, when you think of Viagra, you think of what it does. Uh-huh. You don't call it, I don't even know what the. The generic. I don't know what the generic yeah. thing is, but you know what I mean? It just, that, that word now is associated with mm-hmm. that symptom, that cure. Right. Yeah, so it's real. Oh, we know it's real. I, like I said, you got to meet some people I work with. Holy shit, it's so real. <laughs> there, there ain't no, there ain't no denou- denying that halitosis is real. Oh, no, wait a minute. There's no denying it either. Denying it, denying it. Or debunking, debunking it. Debunking it. I'm debunking it's what I'm doing. I'm reading something off the Smithsonian for it. Yeah. Uh-oh. How halitosis became a medical condition. Medical condition. And that's what happened. Bad breath wasn't perceived as a medical condition until one company realized that it could help them somehow sell mouthwash. Mm-hmm. So here it is again. Human mouths have stunk for a millennia <laughs> and there are ancient breath freshening solutions to prove it, but Esther Inga's article writes um, in more modern day, advertisements for Listerine transformed halitosis from a bothersome personal imperfection into an embarrassing medical condition. Mm. So it was Listerine who invented the word. So someone could yeah. say, are you suffering from toe jam? And people right. are like, oh, shit, I do have it. Yeah. It happened yeah. to me. It's not because you didn't take care of yourself. It it occurred. It's, and it's a condition. Now, right. it's, a condition. now it's a condition. I get yeah. it. Okay, I yeah. get it. Yeah, they fooled us. You see who jumped in there? The dental girl. Oh, absolutely. And uh, that's what we need. We need pros. That's why That's why we just we don't just make shit up. We, yeah. We're not like the other guy and pulled it out of our butt, Mr. Kodak. <laughs> Which sounds, <laughs> sounds like your butt farting, Kodak. No, Kodak. picture it. Can you hear it? No, Kodak, I can't either. Yeah. So, <laughs> Kodak, Kodak, Kodak. <laughs> it sounds like you do when you sneeze. You got to plug it. Kodak. <laughs> no, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go with. <laughs> That's like a like a like a sneeze. Yeah, I, I laugh at Don because I sneeze like blah. I mean, spit flying. Just yeah, let it go. Yeah. yeah, but she sneezes exactly how the word is spelled. Hachu. Yeah. Oh, does yeah. the whole sound out? She's like, uh, ah, chew. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I know it's coming. Chew. I knew it. But does anyone is <laughs> is that? Do you sneeze that way because you know that's it's the way it's spelled? Chew. Right, right. Because some people just do the little, yeah. and that's a sneeze. But probably but, the the yeah. hachu hachu. is because that. Now see, that's that works better than it's, Kodak works. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. So hachu if you don't because it, you say ha, huh? so as a as a little kid. You were you were trained that way. Right, you but were it, conditioned. But it, but it, I mean, I heard a little kid sneeze in my car the other day on a uh, ride, and it came out. Pfft. Yeah. <laughs> but then, as he gets older, he knows. Oh, I need to do it like this. Had you right? right. You kind of train right. the, the sound yeah. it out as you go. Now, how about a laugh when people laugh? The ha ha. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like ha ha. Do people really laugh like that when they're little? They giggle, but then they learn they're supposed to say ha ha. Well, maybe somebody back in the olden days when they're coming up with language, when they laughed, they said, ha ha, and it was a chortle like that, and they said, ha ha, H-A, hang on, do that again, H-A, H-A, pause, H-A, okay, yeah, three words. <laughs> Chortles, guffaws. Guffaws, right, these, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone heard that for the first time and named it. It's very satisfying, though, when you do the ha Yes. It is. Yeah, if you can go through like the whole you, thing, yeah. It the, feels the, like you've the com- intake, the completed release. a task. Exactly. Intake, release, <laughs> relief. Sound like a four-stroke engine. <laughs> yeah. Intake, compression, power socks. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. <laughs> That's it. What we got on this list? That was number one. That was number one. I think we can end it on that one pretty yeah. good for our next right. break here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's Roy and Jimmy in the morning. Yeah. It is chaoticradio.com. Chaotic Radio time is 832. Cuts like it. 
Ginsu. Cuts Ginsu. like a Ginsu. We got to reword that song right there. Cuts, cuts like, like a Ginsu. A, cuts like now. a Ginsu. Nine ninety nine includes the uh, spiral potato oh, peeler. Yeah. Like six pieces. Not anymore. I lo- looked. I looked up the website. It makes, little, it makes for a lovely garnish. They're stuff. a little more pricey now. Oh, no more nine ninety nine. No, what's the what's the updated price for inflation <laughs> and everything? Well, I don't. They don't have that one. Um, I could look it up right now. Well, they have like a full set, and they're very pretty looking. Right. I mean, they they. I mean, their website is beautiful, <laughs> and if you get like a Chikara series twelve piece cutlery set with block mm. is one thirty nine. Jakara. That's Aww. another fake word, probably. Now, if you just get a three and a half inch paring knife, it's nineteen ninety nine. Just that? Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Well, nineteen eighty three. I saw the uh, the Prince edition with the purple handles. Yes, that yeah, was that was pretty was, bomb. Yeah. So this is my favorite gifts for her. Let's see here. From Ginzu. S- yeah. Ginzu gifts for her. Jakara series five piece prep set with block is seventy nine. So one forty nine for the eight piece with bamboo block. So what they're saying yeah. is cookware is for her. Yeah, that's what oh, I was wondering. Oh, yeah. right. you know, Mother's Day is coming that's, up, that's, everybody. That's, that's, that's kind of like not appropriate anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, gifts for him and her. And you know, yeah, you don't want to piss her off, right? You're giving you, her knives. Yeah, you know, I got you. I got you an apron. <laughs> but look at the knives look much much nicer now than that old plastic. Oh yeah, with the wooden block oh. and the logo emblazed on that's the side. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Written in with sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> with Sharpie. It doesn't come like with the headband. And exactly. The, yeah. Get you the you know, Benny Hanna gift, ban- uh, gift headband right there. I want to see. Order now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh want to stay on top of the products? Oh, I almost went out of the site and says, want to stay on top of the latest products, sales, kitchen prep ideas? <laughs> Subscribes. Subscribe to our email for all these straight to your inbox. Your Ginzu updates. Mm. Speaking of updates, let's get our last oh, weather report up in here. A bit of weather going on here. A little here. cloudy out here, but what we got? Yeah, a little overcast this morning. Okay, in beautiful Los Angeles, it is now 60 degrees and cloudy. The high today will be 68. Okay, we're going to go uh, across to the other coast New York City, New York, New York. It is 47 degrees right now with rain showers. Yes, and the high will only be 54 degrees today. A little sweater weather in Manhattan. Yeah, a little bit cool there. Oh, and also San Francisco. Where'd you go, San Francisco? I lost you. Yeah. (laughs) Is it still in the same place? Take the 15. (laughs) San Francisco is now 53 degrees, mostly cloudy. The high today will be 61. Pleasant. That's a yeah, fair a, That's fair weather and, for know, San Francisco. It's known for being a little foggy up there. Sometimes you can <laughs> see a few feet in front of you. <laughs> um, and back to Cut and Shoot, Texas. I'm going to get there soon. Um, 76 degrees right now and sunny. Wow, it sounds great. Cut and Shoot has some good weather. Yeah, and the high will be 80 today. 80 degrees in Cut and Shoot, it Texas. It lovely. It's probably 95% humidity in Cut and Shoot. <laughs> From what she was saying, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to pop a little yeah, traffic roar and give us an update right there and see how we're doing on the old Kudos Chaotic Radio traffic helicopter. Anytime. <laughs> 210 westbound. We've got to find some slowing around Azusa. No. Get out of <laughs> here. Down to 16 no. miles an hour. It's going to be that way all the way out to the 605. Uh, 210 west in the Inland Empire area where we're at. Uh, speeds are about, oh my goodness, 24 miles an hour starting at Town Avenue. Backed up all the way to around Day Creek. Uh, 71 southbound. Town, town of Day Creek, that's a backup. Yeah, it's about yeah, yeah. 30 miles an hour. I wonder what's going on. It's, it's Monday. 71 <laughs> freeway southbound is still backing up at Euclid. Speeds are down to 10 miles an hour all the way through that. And finally, the 91 has got on board. At Auto Center Drive, your speeds have dropped to 9 miles an hour Ooh, as right. normal. Um, other than that, there's a lot of green and light yellow. That's pretty good for a Monday oh, morning. Yeah, it is. Uh, quick weather update in uh, Shankenstab, Orange County, California. It's 61 degrees, according to Tony Valdez. Oh. Okay. <laughs> according to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone make up a name for Shankenstab. Everyone just make up a name for the city you're in, and we'll, we'll definitely put yeah. you uh, down for the weather report on that there. <laughs> Shankenstab. I love that. Uh, the weather brought to you by Kudos Pizzeria. Right. Two convenient locations, Ranch Cucamonga and Upland, California. You design perfection, they'll build it. Mm. 
Mm. I got a question. Good. We're doing. We're doing. We're going to start this new uh, keto thing, a keto diet thing. Keto. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, kudos. What do you got for me? What is keto? It's oh. that same old keto thing. And no I carbs, I know, right? The carb no low. Carbs, I am not yeah. familiar with the low, any. The low carb. I am not familiar with any it? diets. Yeah. yeah. My um. Yeah. Yeah. When when your skin starts to split, it's time to start again. Well, so if you do the keto thing, you probably can have pizza without the crust. Right. So I'm wondering how they're going to help me out with that. (gasps) Oh, a cauliflower crust. Mm. I don't know about a cauliflower crust. I've had I've had cauliflower tots and cauliflower Mm. rice. It's actually not bad. I've done. It's it's actually not bad. The cauliflower uh, mashed potatoes. Yeah. No, I it's think actually pretty good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Mm, man, I'm hungry. I don't know if I can. If <laughs> Stephanie can whip off a cauliflower, maybe I bring my own. Maybe I bring crust. my own crust. I'm trying to say it all at the same time, yeah. cauliflower. You know, crust. here's the deal. I can have a salad. Ah, and they have salad because it's pizza, pasta, and more. More. Right. Yes, that's the more. So part. pizza without the crust. Yeah. It's I got a brownie without the brown. Basically, a salad. <laughs> brownie it's without salad. the brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have the e. Just give you some meat roll ups. That's what I call them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love meat. Actually, yes. I love meat. That's snacking food. Right, exactly. Meat roll up. There you go. Um, six words made up by stupid people. Love this. Six words made up by stupid people. All right. Six. Number six. Irregardless. Irregardless. Uh, if you use uh, irregardless, shoot yourself now. <laughs> I only know that one from uh, that SNL bit with uh, uh, Jimmy Fallon and Rachel Draft, the Boston kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Irregardless, yeah, Sully. That's right. What you really meant was regardless. There's no R. There is no irregardless. But I like that word, though. I do yeah. like that word. Uh, five. I've never heard anyone use this. Misunderestimate. Yeah, I hear that all the time. I don't hear it every time, but I hear it. Really? Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. I, mis- so, under- I misunderestimated the time oh, of delivery. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe, yeah. I misunderestimated the ETA. Of there you go. Product. I think I have yeah. now. Oh, okay. It's used so much that you didn't know it was a, I think a, you're bad, right. a terrible yeah. word. But I, yeah, it's definitely, I, I'm sure I've used it. What you need is, what you meant to say was misestimate. I misestimated. Hmm. Or underestimated. Yes, or yeah. just under. So I misunderestimated. So it's, it's just redundant, very redundant. Yeah. It's redundant. Here it is. Look in, up redundant in the uh, dictionary, and it says C redundant. <laughs> you spell that with a C? It's, okay. ir- it's irredundant. <laughs> it's irredundant. Regardless of what you think, I misunderestimated that uh, redundant statement. I can't use that word in good conscience. In good good conscience. conscience? Yeah, that's the one. Well, in good conscience. Good Did you conscience. mean in good conscience? Yeah. Not conscious. Yeah. Yeah. You're not like dead. It's and not like. I, I'm sure we're all guilty it's of that. It's not like one. 6 a.m. We were barely conscious. Right. <laughs> now, I've never heard of this one. Munt. Spell it's it. It's not a M U N T. Nothing. It's not a word yet, but if you allow me to break a premise a little, I think all of humanity will hail that we have done it. I never heard of Munt. We have a but new city to look up. Sorry. Choke it. Do it. Choke out Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds Indian, doesn't it? Choke it. You yeah, sure that's not right. in Idaho? Yeah. <laughs> and they made it up. And Tony yes. Valdez is running all these serial numbers. I think he's got us confused with someone else. Yeah. Is he really? There's a, there's a shit ton of serial numbers on the what website. Is that? <laughs> I don't know. Tony, what are you huh. sending us? <laughs> Part numbers. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. What so, is uh, so what? I'm sorry, what number right now? Oh, I don't remember. I jumped right in there. Oh, what, number three now? Oh, Munt. M- yeah, Munt. Okay. I never heard Munt. You, Did you mean it, Muff, it says, but I've never heard anyone use M- Munt isn't necessarily a word. M-U-N-T? Yeah, I've never heard of that. <laughs> Tony, oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, if everyone wants Tony Valdez's uh, social security number <laughs> and email password, definitely go to YouTube.com and look us up. <laughs> there are a bunch of numbers on there. <laughs> Oh, I love this part of the end. It says, uh, I might go. I'm not sure if I'll go. Covers two alternate universes. So that's, I might go. That's what they say. So the oh. last word of this. So let's just make the fucking thing a word already. <laughs> oh, I, I would think someone's mispronouncing uh, January so, so month. So right. month to be right. faced. Yeah, I don't know. To be faced with two decisions by not acting accordingly. Ruin both. Hmm. Never heard of that. No, I haven't. Um, Ruthful. 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 Should be merciful. You the ruthful. opposite of ruthless. You ruthful thumb bit. Right. <laughs> you got a slur. You ruthful. Heard, you know why? You ruthful thumb bit. Because what happened is moist. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's, that's a Mike Tyson word. Yeah. You're ruthful. Moist. You're the ruthful opponent. <laughs> I, I like when he did an interview one time and he said, uh, 
uh, you know, I say my hat's off to them. Mm-hmm. And Mike said, with, it's, we get, I had to put moist in there because we get a little moist, but my hand's off to him. My hand. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that when he said my hand's off. And nobody's going to correct him. No. no sure. Not no. at all. I told Roy he's got to do that impression and go like oh, this yeah. for the, the face tattoo. Right, right. Yeah. Ruth. Yeah. <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like being in the moment. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, it should be it should be merciful. Okay, but ruthful. ruthful. Stop using that. I don't think I've ever used I ruthful. I've never heard yeah. anyone yeah. use that. No. Number one, we've all heard somebody use. Mm. Yes. Oh yeah. Supposedly. Oh. Supposedly, yeah. Oh. It's supposedly. Supposedly. It's like Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> that yes. would really get my craw. Yeah. Valentine's. Valentine's. Yeah. How, yeah. yeah. Did you not ever see a card that said with an N on it? Yes. Valentine's Day. Saint Valentine's. So. Oh. Saint Valentine's. Yeah. yeah. Ariana says I think less of people who say things like supposedly or for all intensive all intensive purposes. Yes. In the library. In the library. Oh, you know what? Yeah. You know what? One really bothers me. Everyone use. Huh. I, I hate when people use it all the time. Is literally. Too well, literally, I did. Yeah. Literally, literally, I did. And literally, I did. And For me, I did. literally, I literally saw that. Or when they say they literally, and it does not use in the right context. Yeah. They For, literally jumped off a building when they didn't. So yeah, no, yeah. That means they did jump off. He literally was going to jump off a building. Right. Yeah, that means, yeah. no, there's no literally. Ah! <laughs> literally. It's not literally doing shit is what you're doing. Ah, that one. You literally aren't doing shit. Literally and like. And how about nuclear instead of nuclear? Nuclear. That, uh, people. that makes me remember, a little bonkers. That yeah. Ted people. Danson film, Between Friends. Remember that one with Mary Tyler Moore? and mm. uh, I can't remember the other girl's name. She's kind of hot in a weird way. <laughs> She's kind of mm. hot. Oh, Christine Lati. Yes. Yes. Uh, in their younger years? Oh, yeah. And, about and, and the dude from uh, Law & Order, um, Sam... Yeah, he was great. Yeah, he's always good. He was good. But yeah. but where you, you remember the movie? I remember the movie. Yeah, when he was on, he was a nuclear scientist. Right. And he goes, "Did I say nuclear? <laughs> Did I do that right?" <laughs> That's well, why I remember you, that. You hear a lot of people, announcers, you know, in the news, you know, broadcasters say it yeah. incorrectly. So, ah. Uh, and here at uh, the yeah. accident we had here at Hormos and Six, they're sending an ambulance. Ambulance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you? But how about? Do you need a coupon or a coupon? Do you have a coupon, a coupon? I don't know. What do uh, I, I need? I need a coupon. I think I say coupon. <laughs> coupon. Yeah. I think I say coupon. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't Q- go. Coupon I, bothers me. Yeah, I don't. I don't. But do it is coupon. C O U. Well, no, C O U P is coop. 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 Chicken coop. No, C O O P is coop. But that's the thing with our Steve Cooper's lady. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's Steve Cooper coop coupon. Mm. Get your coupon. Listen to but Cooper. But a chicken talk. coop is a C O O P, not C O U P. Right. No, it's C-O-O-P. a two door car is a coop. C O U P. C O U P E is a coop. No, a chicken coop is not. Right, is it C O O P? Here we go. Here we go. We're googling. Okay. Okay. Chicken well, like, coop. Ah, C O O P. It is O O P. I am. I am upset. Yeah. I am disappointed in that. Right. That just yeah. seems lazy. C W O P seems lazy. Lazy. <laughs> it does. Put a spin on it. Because coop. it makes too much sense. Yeah. Is your little deuce coop? No, wrong, wrong coop. Uh, the, oh, the chickens kick a deuce see, in the, the coop, coop. The coop de ville, the little deuce coop, that's C O U P. I know it is. So I, that's where I was at with drop it's that coop. E. You got it's, the coop. But chicken coop, coop sounds. Come on, it's chicken shit. You want to have a, you know, to lighten it up. Make it the Hilton. Chicken no. coop <laughs> with a U. Throw a U in there. No? But see, like if I you do that, that is a letdown. The down. O U, it could be the owl sound also because M O U is like mouth or mountain. Sure, Cal- you so don't say cow pond. It could be cow pond. Cow pond. <laughs> That's what you find in a field after the cows have been there. The cow ponds. That's a, what, yeah. a, every twenty-eight days with a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Yeah, cow pond. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So, English. <laughs> English language. Irregardless, I was saying English language really does suck. We have Groupon now, so you see Groupon coupon. Uh Ah, see, and Groupon is with the U, right? Right. Ah, and it could be, but it's not grouping. It's not grouping. No. It's not grouping. <laughs> what are you doing? I, I got I got a little handsy with her. I was grouping. Doing the tile. I'm doing the retiling. What retiling grouping my? Yeah. I don't know why she got grouped. so mad. I'll just group. I'll just grouping her. I am grouped. 
Dude, this is bad. I went to Guardians of the Galaxy Groot right there. My bad. Go. That's a double O, though, right? My, that's a double Groot. O, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was, there was uh, one. Uh, th- th- I did some. I'm, I'm is in it that, croutons? Uh, or no. Croutons is with a U, right? It's a, it's yes, a, it's O-U. A, it's a, croutons. It's a croutons. Yeah, croutons. It's a croutons. Croutons. It's a croutons. It's a croutons. It's a croutons. It's a bread nugget. You're right. It's a heathen. It's, it's too close to Cretan. Cre- that Cretan. That's what <laughs> that's I was looking Cretan. for. Um, well, we might talk about this tomorrow, or maybe we'll just wait. No, because I, I got to see it. I'll forget. Um, I signed up. I, you know, I last time I did it, I signed up for a five k, and I did it, and I was all excited when I was getting healthier, and I did a five k. On your Groupon? Yeah, I found a good one. There's a zero point five k run you can sign up right. for. For underachievers, it has donuts, coffee, and a smoking rest stop. <laughs> oh, that's my shit right there. 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5 and a smoking what'd you say a smoking rest stop, a smoking rest that's, stop. that's the best that's hey, sign up for this that is yeah. the best i don't care how much it costs i'm gonna do it so i can get the shirt it uh, says your oval oval uh stickers reading 0. 0.5 k you can stick on your car window participating medals for everyone live music at two brew pubs along the route Bagpipe player gives a wheezing rendition of Amazing Grace and a VI pass, which gives participants a chance to not run at all instead of riding the route in a 63 Volkswagen bus. Wow. That sounds like a lot of fun. I, I saw it. I'm going to get this t shirt. Is that like in, you can have like open container on that too, right? <laughs> that is so good. Yes. I saw a t shirt that was like the same kind of idea, uh, you know, 0.5K run or whatever, and it said, Let's not overdo it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got to find out where this thing... Oh, it's uh, in Bourne, Texas. Texas, awesome. cut and shoot. Well, I, I actually it's did... On May 5th. I did a zombie run a few years ago. I heard those That fun. was here in Claremont. It was so fun uh, because you, ha- they, you had like a flag and the zombies had to get it away from you. They're actually chasing you. Oh, on the God, trail, I don't need that. And it was it was really I don't fun. Need that in my life. And then at the, and the, some of the costumes were amazing. And then at the very end, of course, they had beer. So it was. Oh, it that's was, okay. Yeah, that's a good reward. It was a great reward. Yeah, it was perfect. <sighs> Look what time it is. Lot, lots of inspiration. Yeah. We did it again. We knocked we knocked two hours right out the door. <laughs> Boom. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It has been Warren Jimmy in the morning right here at chaoticradio.com with the lovely Donna Main. Thank you all for tuning in, listening, participating. We're going to be back tomorrow morning right here at chaoticradio.com, 7 to 9 a.m. That is specific time. Specific. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that callback. Wow, <laughs> man. You, any more of those? I'll be laughing so hard you're going to have to call me an ambulance. Irregardless of what happens tonight, we'll be back here tomorrow morning. I hope so. It's going to be kind of redundant. <laughs> Let's get out of here. You guys all have a great day. We love you all. Don't Thank forget. You. Don't forget Kudos Pizzeria. We will give you a coupon I was gonna for fifteen percent off. <laughs> all right. I think I, I think I ran this thing in the ground. We're good. Uh, We're on the gamut. We have a coupon. Get have your a gr- get your move on. Have a coupon. <laughs> get your thing on. Get your, yes. There you go. See, we get got the ons going on. <laughs> <laughs> you, go. hey, you guys all have a great day, man. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See you later. You'll be my